beauties welcome back to my channel I am love of fragrance and merchandise because I have quite a few items here I would like to bring to your attention and it's in reference to samples I have some samples here that I do not have regular size fragrances associated with them because apparently they're very new fragrances and I would like to become familiar with them and I would like for you to become familiar with them also. So I have a variation of them. So I'm gonna take some that I think that you might find uh, somewhat interesting and present them to you first. And the first one that I would like to introduce to you happens to be this new fragrance on the market called 24. Yes, these are fragrances that come in a little packet that they give out at the department stores and when they have them. Like I said before in my video, it's like if you go there now, a lot of times they are not easily accessible or they're stingy with them, but every now and you can order them. They have so many places you can order these fragrances from, but honey, they charge you for them, them as well. And to me, if I'm going to purchase the sample, I might as well just purchase a small, small container of the fragrance itself, a miniature or something. At least it uh, have something that resemble the full capacity of the product, which would be the container and have the fragrance itself. Like this right here is just a valve. You have just a valve of fragrance. And the name of this one right here is 24. And it happens to be a brand new company out of New York City. And the name of the company happens to be Scent Story. And I don't know if this is a unisex fragrance, but I've never heard of it before. But like I said, the name of it is 24. I'm going to sniff it. I'm not sure exactly where this one originated from, but I have to apply it to my body to give you a full indication of what it smells like. You know what? This smells like a unisex fragrance to me because it it has this here aroma of oceanic as if it's um it's aquatic. It's you might not believe this, but it's airy. It almost smells so fresh, 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 fresh like the air, but it also has like a little wave of ocean atmospheric smell to it. But it also has a little bit of sweetness applied to it as well. So it smells a little gourmet, but as far as like being able to detect specifically exactly what types of notes are in here, I would definitely have to say it has some greenery it almost smells like some moss, moss from the ocean. That's what it almost smells like a little bit. Like some peat moss or something like that because I used to have an aquarium. So I know what that smells like, but it has a hint of sweetness to it. So I just want you to know that this right here is named 24 Ice Gold and it's a new fragrance on the market and it's like I said it's by Scent Story. If you look online they have a very large um, business online that provides samples of fragrances. So I think this is where this originated from but however I do not I did not purchase it because you have to establish a monthly subscription with them in order to attain their fragrances. If I'm not mistaken, I recall that that company being online, 24, but it says out of New York City and it's an EOD toilet. And it's a nice fragrance. I think this sounds very, very pleasant, but my perception of this is that it's more for day wear, extremely just light day wear. And it's, I, my perception also happens to be that it's a unisex fragrance and it's very, very lightly detectable on your body. And it's a, I would say it's a nice, pleasant nighttime fragrance as far as like bed wear <laughs> for comfort in your bed because it's just that light because it almost has a hint of linen scent applied to it. I don't want to take up too much time, but I want you to know it's a pleasant fragrance, but you won't get a great deal of potency from it because it's very light and very delicate, but it's very, it's also fairly admirable, but it's, like I said, a little delicate for me. But 
not 24 and it's by Set Story and it's an Uti toilet and you might like it so check it out. I have another one here that's called, well this one here is by Simply, I think it's Belly. I remember this for some reason this came in the mail for me. I don't know if someone sent me some fragrances but I just want you to know anyone want to send me some fragrances or some samples please do so. Um, let me know in the comment section as to whether or not you desire to do that. And this here happens to be designed by a company named Simply Belly, Bell. And it's Eau de Parfum, and it's Charm and Beauty Personalized. It's some type of business, apparently someone operates online, and they have a coupon here, 20% off. If you purchase your fragrances, now I don't know if you ever heard of fragrances by the name of Simply, or simple, um, yeah, but I've heard of that product called Simply Clean, and it might be by them. And so this right here will probably be a very earthy, natural fragrance. Let's test it out. It's like I said, it's an Udi perfume. I hate it when they have the vial. I love the spray sprout containers because I don't think I'll be able to get this off. Okay, yeah. It's, oh my God, how shocking. I expected it for, not, for it not to have any aroma applied to it at all, for it not to have any scent because of the fact that it's, it has been, it's very deceivable. It has the name simply, but it has a great deal of potency to it as well, and it's very sweet. I'm going to test this right here. Mm, let's see. Oh my God, it's very feminine as well. I love this. This is here, it's a, definitely a woman fragrance. And that's all I can tell you is that it's sweet and I can smell some jasmine and it smells like a little bit of cranberries. It's very floral. It's very, it's a lovely fragrance. I think it's very lovely. I like this right here, Simply Clean. So if you ever desire to purchase this particular fragrance, Simply Clean, and the name of this one happens to be is Udu Perfume, and it's Charm and Beauty. Charm and Beauty. I think that's, no, it's Simply Bell. I'm not sure which one happened to be the name. It may be by Simply, but it says Charm and Beauty Personalized, so the name might be Charm and Beauty. But anyways, you'll like this scent because it's very attractive. And this one right here also has a great deal of earthiness applied to it. It smells like also a little outdoorsy. So I guess it, that, that originates from all the different floor notes that's applied in this fragrance. Uh, a variation of them with the hint of greenery notes. And oh my God, it's obviously detectable. There's a great deal of powdery appearance to this fragrance as well. It has a powdery scent. Mm. So I highly recommend this one to you as well. And it's called, and the fragrance is Belle, Simply Belle. Yes, check it out. And here we have another one that I received. And this one, Bagari. This fragrance here is by Bagari. And it's a very, very attractive fragrance as well. Look at the little container here. This is a sample, if you can see it very well, it's a sample of their new product. It's a new product by Vagari. And it, the name of it is Rose Goldia. 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 Rose Goldia. And it has something else underneath there. But it's the Ubi Perfume. And it's one of the newest fragrances, like I said. It's in a vowel also. I don't know why it's so empty. I've never used it, I don't think. But let's check this one out as well. Oh my God. Oh, I think I broke it. <sighs> okay. This is a spray one. Let's spray this on my arm right here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's spray it right here. Okay, there you go. Okay. And this particular one, it's it's very earthy. It sounds like it has a great deal of wooded notes in here. Maybe some sandalwood, something to make it a little flatter than I like my particular fragrances. It smells like some driftwood 
or it smells like some mm, some some trees some sort of trees but when it dry down you can smell the the penetration of the sweetness elevating itself in this particular fragrance so it also has a hint of gourmand scent applied to it as well i can't give you specifics on exactly what type of sweetness i'm attaining from this but i have to say i think that it's it's a nice fragrance it's a nice fragrance but i have had some bulgari fragrances that i like a lot better then I like this particular one right here. But you have to sample it for yourself and formulate your own judgment regarding it. But I think you might like it. But it smells soapy as well. It smells sort of soapy because it smells very clean. It's one of those light, delicate scents. And I would say it's more appropriate for day wear. And it's a little too soft for me. I like a fragrance that lets people know that I have a fragrance on. Unless I'm going to bed. And if I'm going to bed, I can tolerate something a lot less um, potent. A lot less potent. But otherwise, I'm a powerful girl. And I have another one here by 24 as well. And it's called Elixir. And it's by Azure. It's not Azure. It's Azure. And it's also a... As I caught sight of the glycerin light of the town as i caught sight of the glycerin light of the town i could almost smell the comfortable scent of our secret place as elegant blend of amber musk and vanilla okay i don't have to guess the notes because here this one consists of amber musk and vanilla and it's by Azure and also this one comes from Sin Story, which happens to be out of New York City also. So let's test this one out. Oh, it has a sprout on it. The last one I pulled off. Okay. I like it. I like this one. But I think it's a unisex. But you know what I smell in this one? I smell a hint of peppermint. A hint of peppermint in this particular fragrance because yes sort of gourmand but not exceptionally sweet but it also has some wood base on uh, on top of the peppermint to suppress it a little bit so it won't be too sweet and too potent it's light it's minimalist with the amount of notes in here but honey the peppermint is very prominent in this particular fragrance but i like it because it's different it's so unique but it's very pleasant to wear I think there are some floral notes in here as well to um, give it a, a, a nice mixture. It's given it a very nice mixture of fragrances, notes that are originated in a very pleasant fragrance. And I highly recommend this one because I like it. And it's 24 Elixir by Azure, A-C-U-R. And it's a sample, like I said, I think these were mailed to me from Scent Story or... You know what? I'm going to tell you where. I remember where they came from. I'm going to tell you where they came from in a minute. Um, and here we have one by Angler. Angel. Angel by Muggler. And it's an Udi Parfum. And the name of it is Angel. And I'm not going to try to read that small print again. But here we have a bell. And I want you to know, I was out at the store one day and I tried on a fragrance. As a matter of fact, I was interested in purchasing a fragrance, and this was like several months ago. I had attained this here of financial resources that were could only be utilized in the store. And so I was going to spend it, spend the, the credit on a fragrance. And I was testing all the different fragrances, and I smelled this scent right here. I can't remember exactly what it smelled like, but when I smelled it, I really like it. And so let's just test this one out also. Angel by Muggler. Oh, yes. I smelled this one and I liked it, but I, I wasn't exactly in love with it. 
and I have the same perception of it now. I like it, but it's one of those fragrances that has to, I would say, develop on my body chemistry and that way maybe I'll have an admiration for it. But right now, it has a very unusual scent applied towards this one. So unusual to the point where I don't find it to be, you know, like strikingly appealing to me. But it smells fairly nice. I have to say, I think this one has somewhat of um, a scent of... An excessive amount of, of course, floral notes apply to it, but it also have an excessive amount of maybe some betonier or some sandalwood to tone it down a little bit. It's very highly unusual. I'm sorry. If they, if they don't have the notes in here, it's going to be very difficult for me to just come up with a clear description of exactly what's inside of here. I have to check it out. But... Everyone loves it. This is very, very popular fragrance right now. And everyone loves this here. It looks like a starfish. See it? Everyone loves this here angel fragrance because it looks like a starship, starfish, but they have a large variation of these particular fragrances. And many individuals really admire them. But I don't know what the hype happens to be. I'm not de degrading the fragrance or anything. It's just something that I feel has to grow on me because I didn't select this. This... I don't know where this sample came from either, but it is something I select because a lot of time when you select your fragrances, you fall in love with them because you purchased them independently yourself. Okay, but I want you to know that this particular fragrance right here, I remember specifically, these two right here was given to me by Valley Bond, the Perfume Don, a very lovely young lady that also happened to be in the frag community and she has a channel, and if you're not familiar with her, I want you to become familiar with Check out her channel, and that's a shout out to Valley Bond, the perfume guy, and she provided me with these two fragrances. So I thank you, Valley Bond, very much. I held on to them, and I now I find some usage for them, and a, one of them I really do love. I thank you so much, and um, I highly recommend them to you as well. <laughs> okay, moving right along, I want you to understand that, oh, I have another sample here, but it isn't in a bag. It's just on paper, some type of paper, but I have another sample from Coco Chanel, but I'm not going to get into it right now. I just want you to know that it's a very, I think this here is an older fragrance, but, I mean, an older sample, but they do still provide samples for Coco Chanel, and I just happen to have this one. I think I'm going to open it and utilize it maybe tomorrow. So I can throw some of them out. Um, I have another selection of fragrances here. And these ones are this. I happen to have went out to Sephora one day. And I have these here four. Four containers of sample bags here from Sephora that was provided to me. From Sephora. And I've conducted a video before on these here samples that was provided to me from Sephora, but I didn't have my channel at the time. I was just videotaping just for fun. And I videotaped a description of these samples, and I'm going to go back over everything that I did and said before. How much admiration I had for the clerk in the store because of the fact that when I went to attain some samples, I was not aware that this was the process that they utilized to provide samples to their customers and I was highly in admiration of the fact that on the back here I selected what I want want it with each and every one of these pouches and after I selected it she took the vowels and she documented literally documented what I selected she filled the vowels with the product fragrance that I selected, then she documented on the back of this here container with each and every one of them that I have shown to you today is four of them. And on the back of here you have the fragrance that you selected, the name in this case is Chanel right here, and then 
she put the letter there. And the letter and the numbers on this bottle also, which corresponds with the writing, the number, number one, number two, and number three, number four, it corresponds with the listing here. And you can coordinate the vowel with the fragrance here by the letter because they didn't have enough room to write the name on here. So they wrote it on the back of the pouch. And after you wrote it on there, it helps you identify exactly which fragrance it happens to be. So you won't find it questionable what it smells like. You'll know which one it happens to be and you can coordinate them together and you will have access to your fragrances and your vow to sample them until you utilize, use them up. And then by then you'll be able to determine as to whether or not you would like to purchase that particular fragrance because you'll be more familiar with it. But like I said before, she actually, it was such a tedious job to do, but she went through and labeled all four of these bags. See? Oh, on the back, that one's labeled, this one labeled, and this one labeled. And she stood there and took her time and wrote all that down. Normally, they would just fill up the vial and give it to me. That's what they would normally do. They didn't even worry about writing anything on it. But I'm so grateful for that. That's why I wanted to bring it to you today because of the fact that it's such a simple process and that's why I don't understand why people are selling samples like this and have actual businesses where they're selling samples with a description and everything that comes in these little containers here when in some stores you can go out and attain the very same fragrance and have it documented exactly what it happens to be and it's the same amount full content of the fragrance also that as a description that you will see receive from the store and it's so easily and more convenient than ordering it but i just want you to understand here that if you ever desire to attain samples sephora happens to be a very very lucrative company and they provide the essential fragrances they have almost I would say almost every fragrance there, especially the most modern ones and the newer ones on the market, just like Macy's, and they can provide you a sample of any fragrance they have in the store because they do offer samples which are testers and they provide the samples. So you have a clear indication of exactly what the fragrance smells like and they simplify the process of labeling and everything for you. and no expense to you and they don't charge for any of these so I want you to know you will find it very <clears throat> simplified or convenient for you to attain samples if you attain your samples from Sephora um, um, you can sometimes attain these ones from the store but Sephora makes it simple and in all actuality I don't think they have a limit on how many you can attain either so I highly recommend that you go to Sephora and attain your samples or go out to, the store, out to the store, the department store, and request samples that are officially associated with a standard product brand. And the sample would come in this particular little packet right here. And it'll give you more description of information. And it'd be much more simplified and more convenient, but it's more challenging to try to attain one. So I want you to know that this isn't guaranteed. But attaining these from Sephora, sometimes it's guaranteed. That was the older system. I don't know exactly what the process happened to be now, but that's what it was before. So I highly recommend that you attain some samples um, from the stores or from Sephora before you invest in a product. And also, if I provide you a recommendation on a fragrance on my channel, you still have an option to sample it with no expense to you after you hear about the fragrance before investing in it. And that's what I wanted to present to you today. And I appreciate you tuning in. And I hope that I simplify the process of obtaining samples and also uh, establishing a fragrance list for yourself and purchasing fragrances and ensuring that you have a fragrance that you love and have an adoration for and that you're gonna admire and love and classify hopefully as one of your signature scents as well. So I thank you for tuning in.